For what purpose does the gentleman from Arkansas seek recognition? Madam Speaker, I move to suspend the rules and pass the bill H.R. 548, the Eastern Band of Cherokee Historic Lands Re Reacquisition Act. The clerk will report the title of the bill. H.R. 548, bill to take certain federal lands in Tennessee into trust for the benefit of the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians. Pursuant to the rule, the gentleman from Arkansas, Mr. Westerman, and the gentleman, gentlewoman from New Mexico, Ms. Ms. Fernandez, each will control 20 minutes. The chair recognizes the gentleman from Arkansas. Madam Speaker, I ask unanimous consent that all members have five legislative days to revise and extend the remarks and to include extraneous material on H.R. 548, the bill now under consideration. Without objection. For what purpose? The gentleman is recognized. <clears throat> Madam Speaker, I yield myself such time as I may consume. Madam Speaker, I rise in support of H.R. 548, the Eastern Band of Cherokee Historic Lands Reacquisition Act, introduced by my friend from Tennessee, Congressman Fleshman. H.R. 548 places approximately 96 acres of Tennessee Valley Authority land and permanent easements into trust along the shores of the Little Tennessee River and Teleco Reservoir in Monroe County, Tennessee, for the benefit of the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians. These areas include the Sequoia Museum of Chota Memorial, the Tennessee Memorial, and land to support these properties and cultural programs. The parcels placed into trust under the bill will primarily be used to memorialize and interpret the history of the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians. The Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians is one of three federally recognized Cherokee tribes and is the only federally recognized tribe in North Carolina. Their ancestral homeland includes substantial parts of seven eastern states, including Tennessee. The 57,000 acre Koala Boundary is the name of the Cherokee Indian Reservation in North Carolina. In 1979, after the completion of the Teleco Dam by the Tennessee Valley Authority, or TVA, the tribe approached the TVA about lands that are of historical significance to the tribe that were impacted by the dam. The tribe and the TVA, TVA informally agreed to allow tribe, the tribe to manage two easements in 1984 and 1986, including the Sequoia Museum. H.R. 548 helps this cause by transferring approximately 76 acres of historically significant lands from the TVA to the U.S. government to be held in trust for the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians. It also places two permanent easements over TVA property to be held in trust for the tribe to create recreational trails between the sides. This legislation will give the Eastern Band greater control over the historic homelands and the opportunity to memorialize the history and culture of the Cherokee people. Gaming pursuant to the Indian Gaming Regulatory Act would be prohibited, and the bill also ensures that the TVA will be able to continue its river control and development activities to power the Tennessee Valley region. I urge adoption of the measure, and I commend the gentleman from Tennessee for his continued work on this important legislation. I reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman from Arkansas reserves. The gentlewoman from New Mexico is recognized. Madam Speaker, I yield myself as much time as I may consume. Madam Speaker, I would first like to start by thanking the Chairman of the Natural Resources Committee as well as the sponsor of the bill for bringing uh, this bill to the floor of the House today. These bipartisan bills affecting Native American tribes and nations in our country are very important and very significant for the tribes uh, that are seeking uh, land into trust uh, recognition. And this bill itself is an example of how the various agencies and local entities within Tennessee work together to come up with a compromise and with a bill that can be supported uh, by all. I look forward to having these bills actually get signed into the law as they have passed and Congress has passed. As noticed, uh, H.R. 548 is the Eastern Band of Cherokee Historic Lands Reacquisition Act introduced by Representative Fleischman of Tennessee. And it, we noted that it is intended to take lands and easements into trust for use and benefit of the Eastern Band of Cherokee Nation. Uh, as we pointed out, these include the Sequoia Museum, the Chota Memorial, the Tennessee Memorial, and land to support these properties and cultural programs. Uh, and 
We remember that the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians is one of three federally recognized Cherokee tribes and is the only federally recognized tribe in North Carolina. Uh, the ability of the tribe to take these land into trust and then to be able to use them to preserve their cultural ties to the land is really uh, significant. Uh, the two bills uh, that we are considering on the floor have significance beyond the acres themselves. Uh, because they are an outgrowth of an evolving United States policy to Native American governments. The United States has moved from an era where it systematically pushed Native Americans off their ancestral lands into ever smaller territories of reservation land. And we are seeing now the reverse of that as we move to take land into trust uh, for the Eastern uh, Band of Cherokees. I support the borough and I urge my colleagues to vote in favor. I reserve the balance of my time. Uh, the gentlewoman from New Mexico reserves. The gentleman from Arkansas is recognized. Madam Speaker, I yield five minutes to the sponsor of the bill, the gentleman from Tennessee, Mr. Fleshman. The gentleman is recognized. Madam Speaker, uh, I rise today in support of my bill, H.R. 548, the Eastern Band of Cherokee Historic Lands Requisition Act. I thank the chair and the distinguished ranking member both for their very kind words of support for this very important legislation. This legislation has passed in this House before. It needs to pass tonight. It needs to go to the Senate. It needs to be on the President's desk. It is far too long. Uh, the Eastern Band of Cherokee have been waiting and had a lot of promises made to them over the years which have been broken. This is a great bill for America and it's a great bill that we honor our, our wonderful Eastern Band uh, Cherokees. The great state of Tennessee, my home state, gets its name from the historic Overhill Cherokee settlement called Tennessee, located in present-day Monroe County, Tennessee. Tennessee served as the capital of the Cherokee people from as early as 1721. Unfortunately, as a result of misguided federal policies, the Cherokee people were forcibly removed from their homes in Tennessee and the surrounding states. This tragic period in American history led to the Trail of Tears, a journey on which the United States forcibly marched 15,000 Cherokees to the Indian Territory. My bill, the Eastern Band Cherokee Historic Lands Reacquisition Act, returns important historic sites Back to the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians, the tribal nation comprised of descendants of those Cherokees who resisted removal in the Great Smoky Mountains and escaped the Trail of Tears. It is on these same lands where the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians have for decades honored the birthplace of Sequoia, whose likeness we all have the opportunity to pass as we make our way from the rotunda of our capital to this House floor. H.R. 548 would return 76.1 acres, and I want to be very clear, it's only 76.1 acres of TVA land back to the Eastern Band of Cherokees in trust and grant two permanent easements over TVA property to be held in trust for the tribe for creating recreational trails between the sites. The tribe is committed to improving the educational resources of the Sequoia Birthplace Museum and to provide means for economic development for the local community through cultural tourism. The Cherokee Nation has a rich history in the third district of Tennessee, and I'm grateful to be engaged in the process to safeguard their story. I strongly urge members of both chambers to understand the importance of the Cherokee tribal land preservation and support H.R. 548 so that it may be brought to President Biden's desk in a timely manner. Uh, thank you and I yield back. Madam Speaker, I have no further request for time and I'm prepared to close. I continue to reserve. The gentleman reserves and the gentlewoman from New Mexico is recognized. Madam Speaker, I would just like to uh, compliment uh, the sponsor's uh, explanation of the benefits that this bill will bring. One, we've heard a little bit of the 
great history uh, that lies within Tennessee and of the resilience of the Eastern Band of Cherokee as they have maintained their identity to the land and that their use of the land will further assist the members of this wonderful country of ours to learn a bit more about that history, to learn a bit more about the life that is breathed into the statues that we surround ourselves with here in the People's House. Uh, Madam Speaker, I have no further requests for time and we are prepared to close. The gentlewoman is recognized. Madam Speaker, uh, sorry. Madam Speaker, I urge my colleagues to support the legislation. I yield back the balance of my time. The gentlewoman yields back. The chair recognizes the gentleman from Arkansas. Thank you, Madam Speaker. And again, I would like to uh, thank the gentleman from Tennessee for introducing this bill again, and I uh, appreciate his tireless work on it. And I uh, thank the gentlelady from New Mexico and the minority support uh, on this piece of bipartisan legislation. In closing, I will say that H.R. 548 is a common sense bill that facilitates greater control for the Eastern Band of Cherokee over their sacred and historic homelands in Tennessee. It ensures the protection of their timeless heritage, culture, and tradition, and gives them the opportunity to memorialize the history and culture of the Cherokee people. The tribe has worked with the Tennessee Valley Authority for more than three decades, and this legislation is way past overdue. I again thank Mr. Fleshman for his leadership in fulfilling a vital constituent service. I urge my colleagues to support this bill, and I yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman yields back. The question is, will the House suspend the rules and pass the bill H.R. 548? Those in favor say aye. aye. Those opposed, no. In the opinion of the chair, two-thirds being in the affirmative, the rules are suspended, the bill is passed, and without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid on the table.